Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 25 November 2022. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Senior Deputy Editor Natasha Urdendahl explains how South Africa is using spatial data technology for coastal and oceans monitoring. A Council for Scientific and Industrial Research Implemented Oceans and Coast Monitoring Program is proving to be successful, and as the multi-stakeholder program embarks on its next phase, it aims to make an even bigger impact. The engineering news features focus on truck, trailer, bus and bucky, where a tyre company invests in a state-of-the-art factory and steel construction and cladding, where a steel supplier provides innovative products to the sector. The Mining Weekly features focus on tailings and waste management, where new implements complement a service provider's tailings testing portfolio. This week's business leader is Tando Makoba, MD of Multitech Rubber. And as this week's cartoon shows, the South African Institute of Civil Engineering launched its 2022 infrastructure report card earlier this month, which uses a five-point scale to score the state of the country's infrastructure. This year's report had an overall score of D, which indicates that much of South Africa's economic and social infrastructure is at risk of failure. We hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time. 